All right, action figure wrestling fans, I am Paul Bear. With me is Snake Eyes, and tonight we have a action-packed show. Welcome to Action Figure Wrestling Boulevard. If you've been following, you see that we got a new title called the 24-7 Championship. We never know when that's when we're going to end up having to show an episode of that, or it, it could take at random. But right now, our first match is the hardcore title match. And tonight, those two individuals, we're not going to mention their names, if they interfere in any matches, they will be removed. They we have people set up to keep them from coming into this ring tonight. So it's taken to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match is for the Action Figure Wrestling Hardcore title, your hardcore champion. The legend killer, Nate the Great. Nate the Great. He came up the wrong side. He normally comes up the heel side of the arena, but he's just he's just giving us a hard time tonight. And his opponent Mankind. So Mankind is the next legend. One. Mankind. One, two. Mankind almost beat him. Mankind almost has been beaten. He's taken down. He took down McFoley. What's he doing? He's up on the Brett's rope. One, two, three. Your winner. But still, Action Figure Wrestling Hardcore Champion, Nate the Great. There he goes. He's getting the title around his waist. That's the end of Mick Foley, or Mankind, here for right now. Yeah, that means that's another one off the blue brand that no longer has a job here. I told you I am the legend killer. And at the pay-per-view, big boss man, you will be another legend I kill. The next match will be for the United States Tag Team titles. This will be the last time the U.S. Tag Team titles get defended for a while. Yeah, well, the challengers in this match said that if they don't win, they will leave Action Figure Wrestling. And the fact that that's a very good possibility. Introducing first the United States Tag Team Champions, the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. Kerry Von Erich, a member of the legendary Von Erich family, one half of the United States Tag Team Champions. And the other half is right there. And his opponent, his partner, the model, Rick Martell. 
with their opponents. First, representing what used to be the Generation X. Sean, Michael, and now representing the Four Horsemen, Larry Zabisco. So you got Rick Martell, he used to be part of the Four Horsemen, and Larry Zabisco, he used to be part of the Four Horsemen. And if Zabisco and Michaels do not win here tonight, they will leave Action Figure Wrestling. I have a feeling Shawn Michaels is not just going to leave altogether. Well, he does have multiple contracts here, but he said this will be his last time on Blue Empire. Blue Empire. So, we could be losing Shawn Michaels here. And Larry Sabisco. So, a little delay there. Let's see what happens. Texas Tornado. One. Shawn Michaels tags Larry Sabisco. And Larry Sabisco. Whoa. Sabisco tried to take the Texas Tornado down. One, two. They were up in the ropes. And now Larry Sabisco, he goes over, he tags Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels, he missed. Again, the Texas Tornado has not tagged out. But then why should he? He's been a house of fire in here. He missed his chance to get the three count on Shawn Michaels. Wait a minute, there he goes. He takes the model Rick Martell. 
I just tagged Rick Martell in. One, two, three, your winner. You're still United States Tag Team Champions. The Texas Tornado and Rick Martell. Hilary Sabisco and Shawn Michaels are gone. Well, Shawn Michaels ain't gone for good. He's just gone for now. Because we do have, he does have that other deal with Blackout. Which he was representing Blackout and uh, Blue Empire on the, at the uh, event yesterday for the hard, I mean, on Saturday for the hardcore title. Yeah, that's right, he did, didn't he? But. I mean, for the Tony 4-7 title. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Which, by the way, if y'all don't know, if you hadn't seen the video yet, the winner of the 24-7 title is CM Punk. Husband attempts to get Sam Punk's wife signed up here. The next match is for the Action Figure Wrestling United States Championship. Introducing first the United States Champion Seth Freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins and his opponent Finn Balor won and a kick out one, two. One, two, three. Your winner and new United States champion, Finn Balor. We don't always guarantee championship title changes, so when we get them, we get them, don't we? I'm not sure, but I think this is the first title for Finn Balor. Up next is for the television title. Introducing first the Ultimate Warrior. That's right, the Ultimate Warrior is the television title holder. And his opponent. Eric Redbeard. Eric Redbeard, formerly known as Eric Rowling. 
just recently left WWE, went to AEW, joined the faction of his bludgeon brother, tag team partner, Brody Lee. Oh, he, they knocked down our cameraman. Eric Redbeard is looking for a singles title. Ron has his teammate Brody Lee already has a uh, title. The ultimate warrior won. He tried a spinning tope. Kick and the Ultimate Warrior drags him out in the middle of the ring. And the Ultimate Warrior, what's he doing? One, two, three, a backwards elbow. And the Ultimate Warrior is still the television champion. Your winner and still television champion, Ultimate Warrior. This is why Monday night. You need to start watching every Monday for the Action Figure Wrestling Blue Empire. Folks, this is why you want to watch Action Figure Wrestling. You don't want to watch the, the Extreme Wrestling Organization. You don't want to watch My Damn Nation. You don't want to watch uh, no limits. You don't want to watch uh, spam wrestling. You want to watch this because this is action figure wrestling. This is true wrestling. We give you the biggest and the brightest and the best. Up next is for the Action Figure Wrestling North American Championship. Introducing first the North American Champion Brody Lee. Brody Lee, the North American Champion. He has really came a long way since being part of the Brotherhood. Which, by the way, the Brotherhood ended up splitting up very, rather quickly. And introducing his opponent, Action Figure Wrestling Original. The Ringmaster David Ring. Why? One, two. One, two, three. Your winner. And still, North American champion, Brody Lee.
Up next is the Legends title. Introducing first your Legends Champion. Kofi Kingston. Now, Kofi Kingston has not lost a match since becoming Legends Champion. And his opponent, Meat Man Chris. Yeah, but tonight might be different. He's taking on Meat Man Chris. What a match this is going to be. Meet me and Chris and Kofi Kingston. These two guys, this is the first time they met, paired up. One, they were in the ropes. Meet me and Chris didn't like that too much. One, two. Meet me and Chris is getting ready to do that spring loaded drop kick he does. One, two, three. Your winner is still Legends Champion Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston takes another championship. Well, well doesn't take another one, but he remains the champion. And he's defeated another par uh, opponent to remain champion. Up next is for the international tag team titles. Introducing first the international tag team champions, Butch and Luke, the Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers have made it into the Action Figure Wrestling Tag Team Division. They're the International Tag Team Champions. that they may be leaving Action Figure Wrestling soon. I do know both their contracts are possibly due up soon. I think this is the last day they have on their two contracts, maybe. But, and now introducing their opponents. Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. American Alpha. American Alpha has been wanting to prove themselves here. They have a chance. Here's Chad Gable. He's got a chance. Does he? One. Which Jack goes and tags Luke. After that nearly one count. Luke, he totally flew over top of Chad Gable's head. Chad Gable, one, two. And Chad goes and tags in Jason Jordan. One, two, three, your winners. A new. International Tag Team Champions, Chad Gable, Jason Jordan, American Alpha. Wow, oh, what, what a win for these two young kids. From what I understand, 
the Bushwhackers are now going to make the international title match and over the top rope battle royal elimination. Tight match, which means it's going to have both referees involved in this match because they're cashing in their number one contendership. They are. They are welcome to do that. They do have a right to do that. And they're going to do that. I've been working in this industry as long as I have. I'm going to say, Snake Eyes, that this match is going to be hard to call because you got first, introducing first, the Action Figure Wrestling International Champion, Dean. Ambrose. I mean, I'm sorry, John Moxley. He's not Dean Ambrose anymore. Hey, listen up, you two dweebs that have been attacking people. Get the heck out of here because y'all don't want any of action figure wrestling. Oh, that was directed at. It was directed at the uh, two individuals that have been attacking everybody. Shane Douglas and New Jack. Introducing his opponent, first opponent for tonight. The only Olympic gold medalist. In professional wrestling, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle going after Dean Ambrose, but he didn't quite get it. Dean Ambrose, he's got Kurt Angle up. He's trying. He's trying. Wait a minute, here comes Bushwhacker Luke. Bushwhacker Luke. Dean Ambrose fell with his feet onto the table while well, Luke and and uh, Kurt Angle are done for. And here comes Bushwhacker Butch. And then watch John Moxley. John Moxley got lucky. With uh, Butch and see what he does. And with that kick out, he put Butch over the top rope. So your winner and still international champion, John Moxley. what's going to happen folks that's right you guessed it this was the last chance for this particular contract of the bushwhackers so the bushwhackers are now going up Up next is for the Intercontinental Championship. Introducing first the one, 
They only snake eyes. And there's snake eyes. He's now entering the ring. This could be the last time he enters as Intercontinental Champion. I don't know about that. And his opponent, Jesse the Body Ventura. One. Ventura is one of those people who ripped off the superstar Billy Graham. One, two. Now what's Ventura doing? One, two, three, your winner. A new Intercontinental Champion, Jesse the Body Ventura. Up next is the WCW Championship. Introducing first. TK Mark Mero. TKO Mark Mero. Well, this could be the last time we see Mark Mero's opponent in this ring. Oh, yes. And if someone I have a big, big. To do with someone who I am associated with from my days as a manager, The Undertaker, and his opponent, The Undertaker. The Undertaker dropkick, Mark Merrill, Mark Merrill. One on one with the Undertaker. One. One, two. The Undertaker missed. Mark Merrill. One, two, three. Your winner. And still. WCW champion. The Wild Man. Mark Merrill. So this was the last chance Undertaker had at winning a championship here. The Undertaker is now gone. Will we get the Undertaker back anytime soon? That I can't answer. But I do know one thing. Our next match is for the Classic title, the classic championship. Introducing first your classic champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And his up. Opponent, Taz, ding ding, one, the 
she counts stone cold like, there's no way you're gonna take me down, Taz. Taz, the human suplex machine. Stone Cold with a stunner off the top rope, but it didn't work. I don't think he got all of it. And Taz, what is Taz going to do? Taz has Stone Cold up. The belly to belly suplex. Now he's rolling Stone Cold over. One, two... And now Taz with the forearm. One, two, three, your winner. And new classic champion, Taz. We're now going to have a three team, three tag team battle royal for the. Action Free Wrestling Tag Team Titles. Introducing first the Action Figure Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Butch and Luke, the Bushwhackers. If Butch and Luke lose here, they will get a chance at the Action Fury Wrestling Tag Team Titles. And introducing first their opponents, Bully Ray and Raven. Raven working over one of the Bushwhackers while Bully Ray as Butch in a compromising position over here by us. And now their opponents, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there goes one half of the Bushwhackers. And Raven. He tried to flip Stone Cold out. And here comes Stone Cold tag team partner Bobby the Brain Heenan. The Brain working with Stone Cold. And the Brain just flipped out Raven. And Bobby Ray just took care of the Brain. Bushwhacker Luke tried to put, I mean Butch tried to put Bully Ray over Stone Cold with a nut shot. And Stone Cold now. Oh my. There goes Butch of the Bushwhackers. And there goes Stone Cold. Your winners and new Action Figure Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Raven and uh, Bully Ray. 
Ravens and Bully Ray, they said they were going to walk out with the action figure FC tag team titles. But you know what this means. This means this is the end of Stone Cold Steve Austin here in action figure wrestling. And Bobby the Brain here. And the Bushwhackers both said they're going to cash in their number one contenderships for the Action Figure Wrestling title. And they're going to do it tonight. So Bobby the Brain Heenan. And Stone Cold Steve Austin have been, their contracts have expired. And they will not be re-signing. Chris Benoit has had a really bad attitude lately since being accused of, of being mixed up with Shane Douglas and New Jack. He claims he isn't part of it, but they did help him out in quite a few of his matches for the A Action Figure Wrestling title. Because they helped me earlier, they haven't helped me with this title. And I'm not with them. Here comes his first opponent, PJ Black, formerly known as Justin Gabriel. Chris Benoit with a huge clothesline. And now Benoit is working over the leg of PJ Black. And here comes Bushwhacker Butch with an elbow to the face of Chris Benoit. And now Butch with that elbow on. PJ Black and now Benoit. He's now taking it, taking it to Bushwhacker Butch. And as he goes, he's getting him into some sort of submission hold, but submission holds aren't part of the thing. And he, now here comes Luke. Luke's coming down here. Luke. Punched Chris Benoit from behind to save his tag team partner. Wait a minute, here's Butch. Butch just put Luke over the top rope. What the heck? And PJ Black tried to put Butch over. I'm going to try to put Luke over. Butch's, Butch's contract just now ran out since he got put over that top rope. So this will be the last time we see Bushwhacker Butch. PJ Black. He's working on Chris Benoit. Look at him. He's stomping on Benoit. Benoit is caught on, on the second in between the second and bottom ropes. And Luke, he hit PJ Black from behind. And here comes Chris Benoit with another clothesline and Luke goes over. Chris Benoit eliminated Luke. And now P.J. Black. P.J. Black was put over by Chris Benoit. Your winner is still Action Figure Wrestling Champion, Chris Benoit.
what it's come down to is this what's going to happen from here on out with action figure wrestling that people are going to be leaving well you gotta remember every so often when we have people leave we're going to end up having a new whole new crop of wrestlers coming in so it ain't like we're uh, going to be lacking talent No, you're right, we won't be lacking talent. Up next is for the Action Figure Wrestling World Tag Team Champion. Another one of those matches where we have face versus faces. John Hardy's in the ring. He's waiting to see their champions. Here, come, here they come with the new... Make sure who you're wrestling tag team championships. Introducing first your action figure wrestling world tag team champions Daniel Bryant and AJ Styles. These two guys came in to this company together as enemies of each other, and now they're working together. And their opponents, MVP and The Rock. So it looks like MVP is going to start it off for The Rock and MVP. The, they're calling themselves, they're calling their tag team The Electric, The the, the most electrifying MVPs. MVP and AJ Styles. Oh, MVP already made the tag to the Rock, and now we get this dream match. One, AJ tags Daniel Bryan. is laughing. One, two. And the tag made to MVP. And MVP comes in. And he failed to get it. One, two, three. Your winners and still world tag team champions Daniel Bryant and AJ Styles. The Rock and AJ Styles. Well, tag team champions. Now remember, we got one more episode of Action Figure Wrestling Blue Alert. I mean, Blue Empire before the uh, before the pay per view Nightfall. And let's go over the card for Nightfall real quick before we get to our main event. That's a good idea. Nightfall. We're going to have Team Action Figure Wrestling, The Gooch, The Hurricane Shane, Gregory Shane Helms, The Prince of Punk, Shannon Moore, with Daphne in their corner versus The E. Against these extremists of 
these extreme against these extremists of uh, Shane Douglas, uh, New Jack, and a mystery partner. We're going to have the women's international champion Karen Delgado defending against Trish Stratus, which because of the way things have been going, we haven't even had a chance to see that feud. That feud has been heating up behind the scenes, but off camera because of the way everything's been going lately. The hardcore champion, which is right now Nate the Great, Take on the big boss man. It's career versus title. If boss man loses, he's out. The ECW champion. Which is right now Aiden English. Will defend against CM Punk. The classic champion will defend against Abyss. So this, it could be Jesse Ventura versus the Monster Abyss. Man, that's going to be a matchup. And the world champion right now, is, which is Kane, will defend against Sergeant Slaughter. So right now, two of the people who we talked about the, is going to be at that pay-per-view is right here now introducing first your action figure wrestling world champion Kane Kane was was cashed in champion when he cashed it in on Chris Jericho won the title and from what I understand he will be facing Chris Jericho I think either Tomorrow or Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday on Blackout. So Chris Jericho will get his rematch. And his opponent, the Monster Abyss. Now this is a matchup we've been wanting to see. Two guys are very similar. One... The Monster Abyss taking it to Kane. One, two. The Monster Abyss missed with the leg out to Kane. One, two, three. And your winner and still world champion, Kane. So far, there has not been any interference from those two jerks. Of course, action figure wrestling Blue Empire general manager is in the ring. Gabriel Rodriguez. He's in there with both of our referees. I want everyone to give a hand for these two men right here next to me who are outstanding. Uh, refereeing for being outstanding officials here in action for your wrestling oh no 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 this can't be happening it's new jack new jack and shane douglas both coming up here in the ring <laughs> outstanding officials huh Just so you can stack the cards against us at the pay-per-view, but this is what we think about your officials. He just threw John Hardy 
onto our table here and ate the grain. I mean, New Jack. He just threw Jeff Cena, I mean, John, uh, Matt Cena. And now, what's New Jack doing? He tombstone power drive. Action figure wrestling Blue Empire General Manager Gable Rodriguez. They're letting him have it. They're letting him have it. Wait a minute. I know that. I know that sound. Where are they? They gotta be coming from somewhere. There they are. There they are. They're on all four corn, all four sides of the ring. Look at that. They came from all four sides of the ring. There's Gregory, Gregory Shane Helms, aka the Hurricane. There's Daphne. There's Shannon Moore, and there's the Gooch. New Jack and Shane Douglas. He rolls out. And what's what's gonna happen? The Gooch jumps up on the apron. Shane Helms just jumps up on the apron. Well, Gregory Helms just jumps up on the apron because he wants to be called Gregory now, not Shane. Shane's his middle name though. And this is his real name, Gregory Shane Helms. Now Shannon Moore just jumps up on the ring apron. And now Daphne up on the ring apron. And the Gooch, he's going after Shane Douglas. Shane Helms, Gregory Helms is going after New Jack. And look at that, Shannon Moore is joining the Gooch on Douglas and Daphne joining Helms on New Jack. But we're running out of time. We don't know what's going to happen. 